Sounds like she got the wonky cart this time. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, it is half off day at Community Aid today. My least favorite day, as all of you know. Uh, it is so packed, that there are people parked out on the street. This is not a good sign. Normally, at least they're contained to the parking lot. And I feel like it's just going to be like a madhouse in there. But we are going to brave it. And we are going to go in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So, here we go. Okay, it is ridiculously crowded in here today, but most people are going for clothing. We're gonna head over to the collectibles and jewelry counter and see what we can find. One of my favorite ladies is over there working, so let's see what we can get. All right, what do we see here? I still like that little abstract pin there. That's been here a while, but I don't think it's very old. Oh, I like that one in the back. Let's ask to see that one. So this piece is $10. We're gonna grab this one. That's our first one. And then the other one I wanted to see was the one next to it, the little bird pin. I think it's a bird. It's kind of tipped over. Is it a bird? Yeah, it's a bird. Oh, it's a parrot pin. He's cute. Little enamel parrot pin. There we go, it's focusing now. Let's see a mark on it, but I like that he's a little parrot, so. Take the little parrot too. I think that's really it. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna feel bad leaving that flamingo behind though. He is kind of awesome. I know, he is kind of awesome, right? <laughs> Can I see him? <laughs> I'm like, you know what? He's kind of just there looking at me. My kids call them Mingos. They're like, mommy, Mingos. All right, I'll take the mango. I'll take the mango pin. Mango. That thing's just a little bit creepy. We're gonna take a peek in here. There's not a whole lot. This bowl is still here. Um, in one of the previous videos, I said that's overpriced. Now, I mean overpriced for a thrift store probably because that's how much you can get it for on eBay. You can actually find it a little bit less on eBay. Uh, today, it would probably be half off. So it's about $10, but for me, if it sells for $18 on eBay at $10 after taxes and fees, it's not worth it to me. It might be worth it to a collector though. It's just not worth it to me. There's some really fun, fun stoppers in there. Um, we've got some acro agate back there. The ashtrays are really what you wanna look for when you're looking at acro agate. And unfortunately, there are no ashtrays. <laughs> this is the bottom of that safe. Yep, Lennox. All right, let's go look at the shelves. Well, the $150 stereo is still here um, three weeks later, and now it's damaged, unfortunately, because it was marked so high it just sat here. I'm not sure how much they would have it listed for. Oh, the price went down. When it got damaged, the price went down to $90. Still, you can pick these up for like 20 bucks or on the side of the road when people get rid of them. It's a shame. Sat here for so long, it got broken. Okay, well we're kind of doing things in reverse today. We're gonna go check out the lamps next. Hopefully nobody decides to test any vacuums. I'm not seeing anything fresh. Same old lamps. Now here, we have a beautiful mid-century sewing table, I believe. Is that what this is? You press the button and it pops open. And there would have been a sewing machine here, I believe. To me, that's nicer. It's a nicer piece. It's solid wood for 50 bucks. Look at the legs. I love those legs. I really like that. 
I feel like that's nicer than the stereo and they've got it marked for $50, but then again, I, <laughs> I don't know much about stereos. They're a little before my time. Ooh, let's check out the artwork. I really like these two. I actually like those a lot. They're kind of rustic. They're $5 each and it's half off day. I think we're gonna grab them. That's kind of a fun piece. I don't know if that's foil or what it is, but it's got this three-dimensional look. Ooh, fun. It's only a dollar. Why not? All right, um, I'm looking here. This is one of those wine and paints. That's kind of a neat piece. It's nicely framed. The signature looks fancy. It looks like a mid-century piece. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get this home and be like, why did I buy this massive piece of artwork? I don't know. I feel like we should take it with us. What does the back say? Wait, first of all, how much is it? I should probably figure that out first. It is, wait, we gotta lay it down to look. $25, holy smokes. Vanguard Studios. I don't know, heard that before. We're gonna grab it. It's half off maybe, I don't know. I like it. Okay, trying to get to the shelves and every single aisle is blocked with people. It's like a maze, I can't handle it. I'm having a meltdown if you couldn't tell. But hey, look at this fancy thing. Ooh, I stopped the car right there. I just don't know about that. It's kind of a weird place. I don't know. Let's start somewhere else. Okay, well we're going to start at this end because it is the quietest end of the store. And we're gonna work our way up to the not quiet end. This is a planter, $5, doggy planter. It's even labeled as a planter so that people know that's what it is. It's a little spaniel, it's marked five bucks. Um, there is one color tag today that is not half off. I'm gonna assume it's yellow because this is still here. And nobody wanted to pay five dollars for it. It would probably sell for, uh, I want to say, twelve to fifteen. Got this little shoe, four dollars, and it's broken. Yikes. Sorrento by Brody. I, I would probably ditch the floral foam. I kind of like that planter. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it. the glazing on this piece, the weight of it. It's marked Maria C. Crusho. I don't know who that is. I don't know if she was worth $5. But I really like the glazing, so I'm gonna take a shot on it. We've still got our hideous goofus glass here from a few weeks ago. Elizabeth Shorts. Mm. Christmas 1971. 
All right, so a couple weeks ago, we picked up a little trinket dish uh, that was a Williamsburg reproduction souvenir. This one's actually marked, and it is a mug. They want four bucks for it. I'm gonna grab it. Slip decorated. Just checking to see if there's anything else. The pickings are slim. It's half off day. Not seeing much. Figured that would say Japan. Four dollars. Mm. I was waiting for the lady to walk away so I could grab it. It's so crowded here today, I can't handle it. Goodness gracious, what do we have here? Glass bake. Fire cannon for hawking. I've never seen that pattern before. But I'm gonna leave it. And you can tell me all about my mistake in the comments. Those are interesting. What are those? Pasta plate. over here. Three dollars. Okay, so I'm kind of glad we decided to do a second round because I just found this. I didn't see it the first time. It was on the back shelf. It's vintage for sure. It's very lightweight. More than likely made in Japan by its weight. Uh, it's unmarked on the bottom. But it's really, it's got this cool relief ship like that wait how much is it Two, oh yeah three bucks okay I'll pay that All right, so you guys know when I pick out artwork, I pick out artwork that I like, um, like such as this watercolor here. Uh, this is by Davis Gray. I don't know if this is a copy or an original. I wouldn't know until I take it out of the frame. There's a second one here of Greenfield Mass by the same Davis Gray. We've got this one of Pine Grown Furnace, which is actually near where I used to have a house for $8. Ooh, I'm not sold. So here's one that was best offer accepted. It was right around $100. Best offer accepted. 50 best offer accepted. 20 best offer accepted. But when you're paying $2, totally worth it. We're going to grab them. See what else they have in here. We've got the clown children. I think that's just a <laughs> board. Uh, this puppy dog, that's a nice piece. A little bit of cross stitch. Needlepoint, possibly. Maybe that's needlepoint. I do like this one. But I feel like that's a printout. Um, border Terrier riding a skateboard. I don't know. It is kind of, kind of awesome. I, I, I don't know. I feel like that's a printout from online. Uh, you could probably find it online, right? All right, I'm gonna grab it just in case for four dollars. And we're gonna check what's in here. I think mostly these are just empty frames. not actually old it's just intended to look old all right let's check out blankets and then I think we're gonna get out of here that's an interesting piece I think we're gonna leave it 
Let's see, blankets, 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 blankets. Okay, so that was a pretty successful trip to Community Aid. I mean, it was an outstanding, but we did get a lot of artwork. Uh, the thing about artwork, though, is I never know where it's going to go. We got that Robert Thomas print for $2, and I expected $40 from it, and it went for $250. So it's really hard to say uh, without knowing much about artwork. I just buy what I like that I wouldn't mind getting stuck with. So we got a couple really nice pieces, I feel. And, um, yeah, the price is... I know you guys had mentioned it a lot in my past two videos about how the prices seem to be going up and I experienced that a little bit today. I haven't really said a whole lot about it. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if they're trying to cut out resellers, if they just think that, you know, they need to be getting more for their stuff. If they do, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the stuff is... the. the the proceeds and the profits are going to a good cause, so I'm trying not to be upset about that. But at the same time, I'm not going to be able to buy as much volume, which kind of sucks because we'll go there and I'll spend $100 and now, you know, I'm paying a lot less for $100. I probably won't be, be able to spend as much. Anyway, um, it was very strange. I, I brought the cart back in and I got this kind of dirty look from somebody who worked there. So I don't know if they don't like me complaining about the prices going up or what's going on. But um, maybe we'll steer clear of the Harrisburg community for a little while anyway. Uh, our, our favorite is the Hanover store. So they love us over there. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. I don't think that we got a full video. We didn't really find a whole lot there. Uh, we might go ahead at Goodwill because Goodwill it's not half off day. There will be a lot more options and stuff on the shelves um, because it's not a sale day. I feel like stuff was just moving off the shelves faster than they can get it stocked, which is a good thing. But uh, we're going to go find a Goodwill and <laughs> hopefully find some stuff that we can flip for a profit. So I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Hmm, Italy. It's got a chip on it. Not sure what that says. We're gonna leave it. Okay, well I can guarantee that we are going to get a copy strike today because of the music, so I'm gonna overlay music on this one. I feel like that is for soup. Mm. My gosh. No, it was said no. Oh, really? It started melting. Really? It's a giant cat. Aww. That's so cute. It's really sad that it ended up here. Well, you know what, Christina, I guess, didn't care, but I do. So there you go, Mom. I do like that these have matching finials, but I'm just not committed to something that large. Okay, so I'm grabbing these because they're very mid-century and I'm just, I'm totally in love with this shape for $2. And there's also matching bowls, which I've already stuck in there. So, fortunately, these do have like little chips on the back. There's two chips on the back of the plate, but I don't think that's going to be the end of the world because you can't even see it on the front of the plate. The other piece that caught my eye was this set right here. Who makes this? Of course it's not going to be there. Just let me know who makes it. Let me serious issues here. It's not marks. Why is it not marks? Oh, there we go. It's made by Skyline. Cannonsburg Potter. Actually, I think Skyline is the pattern. How much do they want for this? They want $7 for it, and honestly, 
creamer and sugar. I feel like I can make my money back on the creamer and sugar. So I think I'm gonna grab this as well. Like I don't really like grabbing China. Um, but yeah, we've got the creamer and sugar in there. So we're gonna grab this. Oh, is that restaurant where? Mm, oh goodness gracious. We gotta take a closer look at this stuff. We need to look for the restaurant wear because I know it's here. Is that a piece of restaurant wear? That looks like restaurant wear. Yes. That is restaurant wear. Fortunately, it's only one piece. I'm surprised that's not marked. Here we have an enormous set of mercury fade. It looks like a berry, a master berry with some little berry bowls. I mean, actually, you know what, maybe that's something else. It could be a salad bowl, I'm not sure. But it's mercury fade, silver fade. I correct myself, it's silver fade. Uh, we're gonna grab this for $5. Hello, little red ashtray with a deer on it. If that's not adorable, I don't know what is. That's just the cutest thing ever, maybe. Not ever, just very close to being the cutest thing ever. Uh, we gotta find a spot for this. Just gonna tuck it in there nice and, nice and carefully. And we're gonna look a little bit closer at the red. A little baby f booty f planter, but those don't sell for very good, so I'm usually pretty selective about these. That one actually says China. That's a modern one, even. It's not even vintage, so it really wouldn't sell well. This up here, I like this. I think this is for bulbs. It's got some age to it. I like that it's footed. I like the style of it, so we're gonna grab this for $2. Now we're gonna go look on this side and see what we can find over here. This is really cute. Made in Italy. Little stork. I'm not even sure what you would put in that. But I like it for a dollar. Here we've got another really nice mid-century piece. It's two dollars, I'm sorry, it's $2.97, it's three dollars. It's got some really nice crazing on it. I just, I really like the shape of it. I guess it's a bean pot. Um, oh, it does. It's McCoy. I can see it at this angle. I believe the bottom says McCoy. I'm trying really hard to do this one-handed. Yep, it's McCoy. So we're gonna grab this. Maybe if I could sneak it in there. Oh, very carefully. I think we're doing better than I thought we were going to do here. Honestly, I didn't think we were gonna find a whole lot. Oh, this fish. Just kidding. I don't really need that. Right, we've got a little picture that's made in Italy. It doesn't have a price on it, so I'm not really sure. We're gonna grab it. Sounds like she got the wonky cart this time. I really like this. Um, it's one of those at home painted pieces, but I like the shape of it. And I actually did all right. So for two bucks, we're gonna grab this. It's a nice holly and berry piece. Chips are, ah, oh, wait, no, I take that back. Look, they tried to cover it up with marker. Oh, and wait, there's a giant leaf missing. Okay, abort. Okay, I almost never come across this, but it's always important to check the belt buckles for silver because it does happen from time to time, but um, it never happens to me, so. <laughs> it's one of those things you should always check, though. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen to us today. But let's go look at the purses real quick, and then I think we're gonna get out of here.
Okay, that was it. That was the purses. Now let's get out of here. Oh wait, oh no, that's XO. Ugh. All right, so this is everything we've got in our cart. I think we're gonna get out of here and head across the street. Uh, we've got some really nice mid-century pieces. I like the dishes. I'm kind of half tempted to take the, a couple pieces out of here and I actually asked to donate the rest of it back because I want the creamer and sugar and a couple of the platters. I don't know. I mean, technically Drew's shipping it, so I shouldn't worry, but it's just a lot of work. Um, we've got the Silver Fade set. This is probably, I'm, I wanna say salad. I know it's a berry, but they're just really big for variables. And the McCoy pot, so. And of course the cat at the bottom. And I feel like if somebody wanted that, they could totally repaint it. Right now it kind of looks like a cow. It's a cow cat. But <laughs> somebody could actually repaint that and make it look a lot nicer. So that body is good. There's no chips or cracks. Anyway, let's get out of here. I'm standing in line and all I can hear is the squeaky cart. I'm so glad it's not me today. That's all I can say. Okay, well our total spend there was about 30. It was 29 and change. So we did pretty good and we didn't get any dirty looks either. <laughs> all right, let's head across the street and see what we can find. Okay, well this is our final stop of the day. We are at Community Aid in Mechanicsburg. We don't come here a whole lot. Um, the, we just don't usually find stuff here. With the exception of the phone cord purse, that was the exception. But we're gonna head in, see what we can find. It's half off day. Who knows? Maybe we'll get something. So let's head in and here we go. Okay, well it is super, super slim pickings today. There's like hardly anything on the shelves. It's almost like they're closing. No, it's not that bad. It's just like really sparse in here. There's nothing, there's nothing for me to get. Uh, but I figured I'd at least make a video so I could prove that I at least came here and tried my hardest. We've got some little shell critters. These kind of caught my eye, but I just, uh, I don't know. I just bought so much china at the, at the last place that I'm just not committed to it. But uh, we've got some nasty choking. Uh, um. I'm not seeing anything else. That's what I mean. There's, there's like nothing. I feel like I've looked at this before. We've got a little ducky. He's kind of cute. He's probably Japan. But nope, that's it. Mostly junk. Hmm. All right, let's go check the collectibles and then we're out of here. All right, well, we've got Hess trucks for $15. $10 each for the little ones. Yeah, I'm not even going to waste my time asking to see anything. We are just going to get out of here. Boy. Okay, well, it's been a very, very long time since I have left a thrift store completely empty-handed. But I'm going to be honest with you. The prices, and just, I, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I, I'm perplexed at what's happening to my favorite thrift store. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I shop here all the time, but uh, yeah. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Make sure you stay tuned for the whole video tomorrow, where we talk about the stuff we did get, what we paid for it, and how much I can expect to get for it. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow, later. <laughs>